Looks like we got Johnny Fairplay with his uh, main guy, Ashton Vuitton, and Tito Escondido. Tito Escondido is a bad man, I'll tell you that right now. I can see why Johnny Fairplay is hopping up and down like Little Lord Fauntleroy. He's pretty excited about his two men. I can tell you that that's a, is that a quail jacket? Is that quail feathers? I, I, it's quite, quite amazing, I'll say that. And there it is. You know, my uh, partner, I believe, has the uh, privilege of of uh, interviewing these two. Three, I should say, two and a half. I'll go two and a half. There he is. Let's see what he has to say. Last I'm pretty sure I thought I was at a wrestling match, but oh, here we go. <laughs> we are at a wrestling match, trust me. It just picked up. I'll tell you that right now. Mike Yoshi is probably not going to be too happy about anything that's happening in the ring right now, I can tell you. This is going to be, uh, we'll see what happens here. What? What? Yeah, what's I don't, that I don't, well, it looks like you tried to, to well, do an interview here, but Johnny Fairplay apparently likes the sound of his own voice. Yeah, a little bit. Johnny so, Fairplay asked for a, a little bit of time. I was happy to give it to him. Ashton Vuitton was going to give the fans what uh, Johnny thinks they want in a catwalk. Hey, I can tell you this right now. I'm glad Mike Yoshi came on and break that up. <laughs> I, I, like I said, I thought I was at a wrestling match. I didn't know what a fashion show broke out. So I, I, was, I was just looking at the, uh, at the we're, on, we're on a little bit of a delay, and I was looking. So between on the commercial break, if you remember, I had a little bit of a Grandma Wright's brain tonic, uh -huh. and apparently yeah. I've immediately grown my goatee back. You, you have. This stuff it's, is serious business. I, I am officially... I am officially now asking for uh, an inquiry into what the heck is in that stuff. We're letting little children drink that. I'll tell you, it made Smile and Dave stop smiling for a little bit, so wow. something's going on. Something's going on there. Something's going but on. But in the meantime, Jeremy Blanchard, we have two massive men this, in the ring. Something you know about, a big power match with Mikey this, O'Shea and Bad what, Dude, I Tito do, Escondido. I do. Uh, both, both of these guys are top-notch athletes anywhere around the world, and it's we're just lucky to have them in the West Coast right now. Uh, it's it's. I love seeing these this kind of matchup right here. Physicality, you know me. I like I, I like it rough, man. I like to I, <laughs> I want to feel it. I want to hit somebody. I mean, speaking of hitting somebody, fair play. I'd like to, I wouldn't mind getting a hold of him. Well, I think you have to take why. a. I don't have know to why. Take a number. He's just one of those kids, those guys who's just begging for a punch he, to the he face. Is. He he is. One of those kids on the playground, you know, he's like, you told your dad, like, I'm sorry, I had to. Yeah. You know, you get, I know I got in trouble for this butt whooping, but I had to. He was basically asking me to do it. He Tito did. Escondido there hooks the leg, goes for a pinfall, nothing doing, and now just continuing the assault. But you want to talk about physical. These, these two guys, Jeremy, I, aside from you and maybe one or two other guys, including Hammerstone, I can't think of a more it's, physical matchup than Mikey no, O'Shea and Tito Escondido. Say, who has Mikey O'Shea in this predicament? And then I looked up and said, oh, yeah, it's Tito Escondido. Yeah, and that makes yeah. a lot of sense. I can tell you, that is a bad dude. I mean, all the way from his head to his toe, I mean, oh, draped come on. dressed in leather. and Yeah, oh, this doesn't help. Well, Johnny Fairplay doing what he's paid to do, what, as you know, in the Wrecking Crew, the grappler historically has been paid to do. I have to wonder, and, oh, it's, even yeah, though it's Tito, go. Johnny Fairplay still, Ashton Vuitton, get, no, going for the selfie, but Tito Escondido. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, that's not what you paid Tito Escondido for, not, no. not, not taking selfies. I Tito wanted nothing to do with that. He just yeah, grabs he want, O'Shea back into the ring. He's there to beat a man up. I yep. mean, that's, that's it's plain and simple. That's what he's, you know, leather and chains. Pay that guy money. Teeth are going to fall out. And this, look at that. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I'm some... glad I'm sitting here now. <laughs> I can tell you. You're in the safe zone back here. Right. At least I like to think we'll so. We'll see. Got Matt Stryker little, doesn't come yeah, back Yeah, got around. a little hairy there a minute ago. But I have to wonder, Jeremy, we have a big two out of three falls match for the Pacific Northwest Championship coming up. Big Duke challenging Hammerstone for Ooh. the title. Grappler was not out earlier. He's not doing well. Do you think Wah. we're going to see more of Grappler 3 on the outside? Or oh, I'm sure. Johnny Fairplay hey, maybe when, when stepping in? When those guys in? ever hey. played by the rules and went one-on-one -on -one or two-on-one -on -one or two or two on two, sorry. Two-on-one's their <laughs> normal game. That's kind of what they do, two, I maybe three. I apologize on that one. I mean, it's just I get, I get a little frustrated talking about that. Yeah, there's, there's no way they're going to go one-on-one -on -one with anybody. Mikey O'Shea now. he's. Got, do you see how he just picked Tito Escondido up like nothing? Well, I <laughs> mean. <laughs> It's a big man. I mean, these two don't did nothing. Look at this. I mean, <laughs> that, that, 
That's a strong man, okay? I I'm not going to guess how much Mikey O'Shea weighs. You might have it right there listed, but I'm telling you right now, that is a strong man. Well, and then to, for Tito Escondido to actually lift him, flip him over the top of his head, and drive him into the mat. This is one bad dude. I mean, he got what he calls himself, but literally, yeah. he's living up to the name. Absolutely. I mean, hitting on this guy's like hitting leather, I can tell you. I, I mean, would you imagine seeing this guy at about 2 a.m. in oh. an alley? There's, I, I literally, that I mean, makes me shudder just to think about. Unfortunately, would, you're in his living room. Yeah. So, right. I mean, you're in trouble. It's a and home invasion at, at that point. Look at that athleticism there by Tito Escondido as well, coming over the top rope, driving those boots right into the chest of O'Shea. If I walked into that alley with him, I would literally just take my wallet out and say, here, here you go. please, here please you go. take it. Let here me go. go. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm with you, man. He's, whoa, Mikey, he's had about enough, I can tell you. God, Mikey O'Shea is so powerful. Get those powerful. in there, buddy. Get those in there. We talk a lot up here about a second wind, a guy digging deep and going to Mikey O'Shea has a second, third, fourth wind sometimes. I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Kinda, he's, he's a little bit like like the shades of Greg the Hammer Valentine. He, he didn't quite go until it's about 30 minutes yeah, in. So yeah, that's Mikey when he got O'Shea warmed can up. Take a, take a beating. And uh, he usually you know he usually comes alive later on after that, you know, after – couple punches wakes you up, I can tell you that real quickly. It gets you going. Especially on a guy like Mikey O'Shea. It, it'll Something like this right here, all of a sudden you're like, whoop. Well, it might just be enough if he keeps throwing those forearms. We've seen it before. Mikey O'Shea right there. there woke go. him up just right, enough to get that right elbow chin. up. Comes uh -oh. up. Tito uh -oh. Escondido. No, 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 no. no. Oh. Nice, nice, nice counter. Box those ears. Mikey O'Shea changing the game. Bring Swings him around. Nice. Very nice. This could be it. Wow. If, he could swing, if he could swing that massive body on him. His Tito Escondido has done some damage to Mikey O'Shea. Yeah, he's not done. I can tell you that right now. This, Look at that. This the guy just had done. so much adrenaline going in. Oh, Johnny Fairplay looked like he was about to head up onto the ring apron Johnny there. Johnny Fairplay looks like he robbed a picnic table. <laughs> Look at this. Here it is. There it is. I knew it. Yep. Just you could see it coming. Spine buster into the light. Absolutely perfect timing by Mikey O'Shea. If he could just deal well, with all this. There he Riff goes. Raff. I can tell you, this is this. We got Ashton Vuitton in the ring. Johnny Fairplay on the apron. Ha ha, there you go, <laughs> ballet boy. Here we go. Yeah, how's that? Hey, careful with that jacket. Careful with that jacket. Somebody spent a lot of money on that, I'm yeah. sure. There's probably a couple of unhatched eggs underneath there somewhere. O'Shea walked right into that. Uh oh. See, poor Sh O'Shea had this guy beat. I'm had this guy beat. Well, he was taking on Tito, Holy Ashton, crap. and. Johnny Fairplay, Tito Escondido just drove his skull into the mat and uh, see, just, that's just that smug look on Johnny Fairplay's face. It just kind of, I almost disgusting. want to get up and slap well, the What guy. I'm saying is it's really hard for me to sit here and be a professional. I know my night's over, but it's really hard for me to sit here and watch stuff like this. It really is. Well, sadly, when you got Johnny Fairplay, it happens more often than it doesn't. Ladies and gentlemen, after this, two out of three. No, I'm sorry. I just got a great, great bit of news. We have an unbelievable exhibition match. Nice. That we're going to take you back to. And oh, no, no. Are, are, are we seriously going to give them a microphone again? I, uh, I sure hope not. Ashton, come. No. Okay. No. Oh my goodness. Okay. Here we go. Let, let. Oh hex no. He says with a couple hockey sticks in there. Uh, oh, he's not, not again. done. Not not done. We're not done. Uh, Ashton, you know, Ashton Baton directing traffic. one thing to beat a man. It's to, you know, he, these guys are all about humiliation. And that, that's what he's doing. Look at that. that. That That's a lot of weight coming down on a neck. Well, okay. But Tito Escondido just lifting that man, Mikey O'Shea, up. Oh, And here no. comes the ridicule. Yeah, here the comes, catwalk. I mean, well, I'll give credit where credit due. Ashton looks great. That jacket is very stylish. <laughs> but still, like you said. The match is done. Yeah, the match they, is done. They had their time at the beginning of the match to say anything is, they wanted folks, to say. This is a sporting event. And okay, and now it's, now it's no longer a sporting event. We're taking, yeah, okay. Fair play is going to get his selfie anyway. Hashtag superstar selfie. I just I just somehow smell Morty. Yeah, just, just a little Don't bit you? behind Can't there. You smell that? Just smell Morty. Kind of smell him a little bit everywhere. Yeah. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a special exhibition match for you. We like to every now and then show you a little bit from our non-televised events. They are unbelievable. You don't want to miss them. Check us out on social media at VWCWC on both Facebook and Twitter for all of our event information. I'm glad you said that, not me. Yeah? Well, yeah. That's what they pay me to do. They pay you to wrestle. And Oh, here we go. This guy. 
I, I thought I smelt Morty, but I was wrong. Well, you smelled something. I did smell something. A little bit of, well, you know, I mean, the, the, guy's, the guy's a big fan of wrestling. Apparently. And he said, no, well, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We'll have that exhibition match for you right after this.